What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we're going to be looking at all of the exclusive battle cards coming out in the Devastator deck. These were revealed by myself and a few other lovely people yesterday. Hopefully, depends on the upload schedule, but probably yesterday. And I figured what we really need is a video rounding them up. Now, you know the deal at this stage. The official reveals were done by Wreck and Rule, TCG Rollout, and Vector Sigma. So please do make sure you go and check out their videos. I will pop links to them in the description. If you haven't done so already, just give them a click, would you? So starting off with Devastator then, this is a deck which is coming out as a standalone product on the 29th of March at the end of the month. And the reason to get this is very simple. You have six character cards which make up Devastator as a combiner, which are only available in the deck. But you also have five battle cards. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about Devastator, because honestly I've done a video about Devastator. I'll pop a link to it in the description. All you really need to know is that there is a tower mechanic. So the leader of all of these Constructicon Malarkeys is Scrapper. And Scrapper starts in alt mode, and when you start the game with Scrapper in alt mode, you put your tower tracker into your KO area, and you put one counter on it. And then as you go through the game, you build up this tower so it gets taller and you get certain advantages. Devastator does get some bonuses when you hit certain levels of it. So when you head up and give yourself a tower of 6 or higher, you got bold 2. 10 or higher, then your base attack goes from 6 to 10. And generally speaking, when you've got Scrapper in bot mode, KO area or on the field, you get to add a counter to your tower when a Constructicon is KO'd. And all the other Constructicons have an ability in alt mode, whereby when you attack, you may discard a card from your hand, add one to your height tower. There's plenty more to say about them. I'll leave it over to that video. What I want to focus on today is the five exclusive battle cards which can only be got in this deck. And it has been confirmed by the lovely folks over at Wizards of the Coast. You will get a full play set of three of each of these five cards. So if we're going to have a combiner, we're going to need an Enigma card, and we do have Constructicon Enigma. If you don't currently have a Devastator on the battlefield, then you just combine into him as long as you've got six Constructicons in bot mode, either in your battlefield or your KO area. Combined. But if you've got Devastator on the battlefield, you repair one damage from him and then put a height counter onto your tower. Remember, you want to start building up your tower as fast as you can because you get those bonuses. And I should also mention that when you combine into Devastator, you repair an amount of damage from him equal to the height of your tower. So quite frankly, if you can build up your tower, Devastator likes it. Now, the card that I was lucky enough to reveal yesterday was Reclaim. And I'll pop a link to my video that I did about that in the description. And Reclaim is a lovely card that lets you take an upgrade from your scrap pile and put it on top of your deck. And then if your tower is free or higher, draw a card. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, your tower should usually be free or higher. This just gets you upgrades back. This means, and I said in my video, the best use for this is the upgrades that fall off. Something like Grenade Launcher, which can only stay on there for a single attack. Or something like Force Field, which just goes away when you would take five or more damage. But I also like the superior cards. You've got to play Tech Research and... The other card, whether it's Cannon, which gives you Bold 4, Plate and it gives you Tough 4, or Jetpack, which gives you Pierce 4. you got to play Tech Research and then the other card. Now, the awkward thing here is that although Tech Research has a green icon, meaning if you flip it while attacking or defending, you can grab it at the cost of discarding a card from your hand. The superior cards don't, which means they can be quite difficult to draw into. So here... Either you draw into them normally, or you scrap them while attacking or defending, and then you can get them back with Reclaim. It makes these cards far more reliable, I suppose.
Now, there are other uses for this. Some people have pointed out the combination of the new star screen and Decepticon Crown. Now, the new star screen is a really, really fun card. It's one of the best, or at least the most interesting cards that's coming out in Wave 2. And if you flip Decepticon Crown while you are battling, that is attacking or defending, you get plus 3 attack and plus 3 defense. So one of the best uses for Reclaim outside of a Devastator deck, and in my reveal I was really focusing on the Devastator deck, but one of the best uses for it outside of that is using it in a Starscream deck, so that when you flip Decepticon Crown, you get the extra attack and defense, but because Reclaim puts an upgrade from your discard pile on top of your deck, you can guarantee that Decepticon Crown is on top of your deck, and therefore, you can guarantee that you're getting this bonus. That is extremely useful, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely useful, because it just means that you're going to be able to have it there to get those stat boosts. And if you've got a 9 attack bot, that's pretty gosh darned awesome. But I was not the only one that had one of these lovely reveals yesterday. The lovely folks over at Wreck and Rule got to reveal Builder's Tools. Now, Builder's Tools is an upgrade. And it is an upgrade that can only be attached to Constructor Cons, but come on, it's in the Devastator deck. It's got an orange icon, which helps you with attacking. Compare that with Reclaim, which has a blue icon. And it's a utility upgrade. And when you attack, you put a height counter on your tower. And this is frankly just a card for building up your tower. This is a card for basically saying, right, I'm going to build up my tower. And look, Reclaim, you only need a height of three. That's not particularly difficult to achieve. But when you combine, you heal as much as you've got height counters on your tower. And then if you can get to 10, then you end up with a character that has a base attack of 10 and bold 2. A really crazy good attacker. So generally speaking, what we want to do is try and get up to a height of 10 as fast as possible. And I told you that all the Constructor Cons other than Scrapper had the same ability in alt mode, whereby when you attack, you can discard a card from your hand and put one height counter on your tower. Well, this is brilliant. Because now, either you can put a counter on your tower without discarding from your hand, or you can discard from your hand and put two counters on there. If you're really determined to build up your height of your tower as much as you can, yeah, Builder's Tools is good. And potentially here, you get three of these on three different Constructor Cons. You attack with all three of them, discarding a card from your hand for each, with the one counter you get at the start of the game, and all of a sudden you're building up to seven very, very quickly. And if you can get up to ten, and then form into Devastator here, you're healing ten damage, and then you're starting off with an attack of ten and bold two. That is nothing to be sniffed at. In terms of building a tower, you've basically got the abilities on the characters we've already seen. And then we've got this. And this is a very nice way of doing so. Speaking of having a big tower, Vector Sigma went and revealed Heavy Landing. Now, it's another blue icon, which means if anyone's keeping count, these battle cards are more blue than anything else. Two blue, one orange, and spoiler alert, one white. Plus the Enigma, which is obviously green. Do one damage to an enemy. If your tower is six or higher, do three damage to that enemy instead. Now, frankly, this is Zap. This is just Zap with a blue icon. And one of the most important things to point out with this initially is, if you want to be playing Zap, but you want a blue icon rather than an orange, i.e. you want to do cheeky damage not attack damage, but you also want to go heavy, blue, and defensive, this is redonkulous, ladies and gentlemen. This could just be played literally as Zap with a blue icon. But if you don't want to play it as Zap with a blue icon, if you want to put it in a Constructicon deck, if your tower is 6 or higher, you do 3 damage to an enemy instead. Now, to put this into context, one of the star cards from Wave 2 is Bolt of Lightning. 
And Bolt of Lightning does free damage to an enemy and is deemed to be so good, it doesn't get a battle icon. So right here, you have Bolt of Lightning with a blue icon and it doesn't cost a star. Now, you do need to get your tower up to six very quickly to get the most use of this. So I think if you're playing heavy landing, you probably also need to be playing builder's tools. But we've got ways to build our tower. Six really is the first big number here. Because six means you get heavy landing. But six also means that you get bold to when you form up into Devastator. One of the things I like about heavy landing is that you can just play it as a zap with a blue icon. And outside of the deck, that's actually pretty good. But make no mistake about it, in a Constructicon deck, if you can get your tower tall enough quick enough, this literally just becomes Bolt of Lightning with a blue icon, which is crazy. And I like all the cards I've talked about in today's video, but the prize for best reveal definitely goes to Landon, the lovely chap who runs TCG Rollout. He got to reveal Work Overtime. And Work Overtime is nuts. It's got a white icon, as most draw cards tend to do. Flip two more battle cards the first time you flip a white while attacking or defending. If you've got fewer than four cards in hand, draw until you've got four cards in hand. This is probably going to become a staple in basically every deck, or at least a majority of decks moving forward. This, I believe, becomes the best draw card that we've got. Now, Reclaim has some good use for reusing upgrades, and is quite good with something like Starscream. Builder's Tools is just for Constructor Cons for obvious reasons. Heavy Landing is that with a blue icon outside of Constructor Con decks. But this is just a flat-out phenomenal card, regardless of what deck you're actually playing. Because, you see, another one of the star cards we're getting in Wave 2 is Universal Network Access. It just lets you draw free cards. That's all it does. It's a star card that lets you draw free cards. Well, here you probably will end up drawing free cards. You start with free cards in hand, and you can play an action and an upgrade every turn, and then you only draw one per turn. So a lot of the time you're going to be drawing two or three cards with this. This is great draw power, and it's just pure draw. Now, it's not going to work with something like Bombshell, because Bombshell wants to build up a big hand of cards, so you can discard cards equal to the star value of the opposite Transformer and get a KO. So Bombshell, you're going to have more than four cards in hand, and it's going to be a moot point. But outside of that, this is really, really nice. I adore this card. Because most decks, you want to just be playing cards, playing actions, playing upgrades, doing your thing. And this allows you to have really good draw. And look, all you need to know is that Universal Network Access is a star card that lets you draw free cards to let you know how redonkulous this can be. We've got plenty of cards like Dinobot Snarl that draws you two if you've got zero cards in hand. Well, if you've got zero cards in hand, this will draw you four. But better than that, if you've got one card in hand, this will draw you three. The new Dinobot Sludge draws you two cards when you attack, as long as you've got fewer cards in hand than your opponent. The Transformers TCG is just not a game where you draw a huge amount of cards every turn. And this really allows you to do that. Now, incidentally, in a Constructicon Devastator deck, it's nuts. Because remember I told you that five of the six Constructicons have a skill in alt mode, whereby when you attack, you can discard a card from your hand to put one on your height tower. So a lot of the time here, if you're really trying to build your height tower you are going to necessarily end up in a situation where you've got a very low hand size. Oh, look, ladies and gentlemen, that's not a problem because all of a sudden you can go and work overtime and draw till you've got four cards in hand. And this is the best card in the Devastator deck. And frankly, I know the Metroplex deck was good, but actually, if we look at the battle cards for the Metroplex deck... 
They were Metroplex cards. They were battle cards that were useful for Metroplex. Now, to be fair, we did get height advantage, which if we ever get another Titan is going to be really good for them. But they were Metroplex cards. And look, I will admit that Builder's Tools is very much a Devastator card. But Heavy Landing can be played in any card as a Blue Icons app. Reclaim has some niche uses in stuff like Starscream, but can also just recover your upgrades nicely. And Work Overtime is nuts. It's ridiculous draw power. So frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I think the Devastator deck has moved into must-buy territory. I think we've gotten to the stage now where you've basically got to get this deck. Even if you don't ever want to play Devastator, you're getting a playset of all of these cards and that's nuts. And I know this video is a little bit longer than usual, but I had to start off by giving you the quick skinny of Devastator just in case you were unaware. And then quickly flick through five battle cards, three of which I'd never seen on this channel before, or never shown you on this channel before. So frankly, it had to be a little bit longer. But yeah, long story short, I'm always going to be honest with you guys, because otherwise I lose my integrity and that's kind of rubbish. I tell you when I'm not a fan of cards, and I'm telling you now, when the Devastator deck comes out, you're probably going to want to nab yourself a copy. This has all the hallmarks of one of those products where in a couple years' time, a new person joins the game and goes, oh, I want to get a Devastator deck, but I can't find one because they've all been bought up because of the awesome battle cards. Don't be that guy. Also... And I said it at the beginning, but I'm going to say it again now. Please do be that guy who goes and checks out the reveal videos from Wreck and Rule, TCG Rollout, and Vector Sigma. Those guys put a lot of time and effort and work into their reveals, so go give them that click. Let them know that, like me, you appreciate the hard work that goes into it. And then tell me what you think about this Devastator deck. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me if you are in flat planning to get one or whether I can't tell you what to do. Go nuts, ladies and gentlemen. But please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we do talk about Transformers. But we also talk about a whole bunch of other games. But of course, the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.